what's going on I'm gonna make a video real quick showing you how you can replace chips like that so we've got the BQ blah 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 chip on the Nintendo switch um, very commonly issue uh, issue rated chip um, if you have any power issues that's not the MT, it's likely this BQ chip. Now, replacing this is a little tricky because you've got a couple of plastic pieces such as the uh, power power connector for the battery. Um, if you want to replace that, I'll show you how you're going to do that. And to replace this chip as well, um, what we're going to do is attack it from the bottom. So I have my SMD heat gun and uh, that's going to prevent me from melting this uh, Joy-Con rail connector, the speaker connector, um, and I'm going to replace this power connector as I, I have melted that one. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that without melting anything. Let's do this. Hopefully it doesn't focus in on the heat gun. Yep, okay, we're good. Alright, so I've got my SMD heat gun. Um, I've cut this off the table because this is the best thing that I've got. I don't have a good setup for doing air uh, in-air soldering, but um, uh, I've got it set to about 380. I fluxed the BQ chip. This has already been removed. I'm actually um, replacing it now. I, I have a new one on there and I'm going to I'm going to uh, heat it up and resolder it. All right, first I'm going to solder this. So I'm going to heat it up from the bottom. Um, Make sure you've got your nice little vent going on here so you don't inhale any fumes. <coughs> got a little bit of COVID, that's why my cough is uh, going here. Really, once you get this thing in place, you shouldn't have to touch it. Um, I actually didn't tin the pad, which a lot of people are going to be pissed about, but uh, there's a bunch of solder left on here. The thing will, the thing will jump back into place, no problem. So we're going to get her nice and heated up. Just not going to overheat it. Oh, okay, so we moved. It's not a problem. I'm just gonna pick it up, let it cool, put her back in place. Soldering is a lot of patience. That's really what it comes down to. Um, prep work just like you'd uh, have with painting. Alright, so my solder joints are melted. Now it should, there it goes, jump into place. And now I can just poke it. It's good. That's it. The BQ is soldered in place, hopefully in the right orientation. Now we're going to put the new battery connector on. Battery connector is a little more finicky just because there's individual solder pads. You just kind of get it in the right spot here. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's the spot that we're looking for. Now we heat it. We don't want to get too much heat into it and absorb into the board and then we start separating the layers of the board. Just want to be quick about it, get enough heat into it that the solder points melt, which they're starting to now. Flux is your friend. Once it melts, you can see it'll move into place. Oh, Good enough. And, um, Assuming that they're all contacted, which they appear to be, it's a little crooked, but as long as everything's touching, which it is, it's no problem. That's it. That's how you replace them. And you can see, let me see if I can get you in on this thing. There you go. She soldered. The connector is in place. Um, this one got a little melted. My uh, when I was attempting to fix the bottom side chip, that's why this got melted as well. This one still fits fine. The plastic just looks a little bit not so good, but it's fine. 
the Q has been replaced. Um, this connector is still fine, that's in good shape, didn't melt this guy, your USB-C connector. This board's interesting, this is actually a um, launch edition switch and you can tell, you can see that it's got that um, PWB AW China. Uh, I think that means that that's what the market was for, maybe, I don't know. But this is a 0-1 board, that means it's the first one. I, all my other boards are either CPU 10 to CPU 20. Um, this particular board has been giving me issue. We'll see if this had any impact. Um, the when you plug it into charge, it has a 0.42 amp charge rate, but it doesn't power on. Um, generally speaking, that means for me the CPU is bad. Nothing was shorter in the back, but I did remove a couple caps just to see um, if when I did that the resistances on the back went down. They did. However, it's still not boot booting. Um, I'll replace those in a little bit, but then the P13 USB has been replaced, and this has also been replaced as well, just to see if that had any impact. This little guy here is responsible for some of the power management as well, and I have found that these will cause some issues with charging, but replacing that didn't have any impact. So we're on the last thing, the BQ. If the BQ didn't fix the issue, then this board's going back into the console and sent back to the person who sent it to me. Unfortunately, they're going to be pissed, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's just a quick video on replacing some of these chips over here without melting shit. And if you do melt shit, then you know how to replace it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.